Welcome back to Let's Play Gex 2. After the get-go, let's turn that up a bit. Alright. Today we're going a bit old school, playing some Sonic 3 and Knuckles music for you here today. Hopefully it won't play too much like, uh, random credits music or anything like that. But, um, yeah. So, next, Texas Chainsaw Manicure. Hopefully we can get this and the last final level thing knocked out. So I can go and fight the final boss again off screen sometime when I feel like it, which is never. So I'll just do it, you know. Sometime, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is another one of those horror levels or whatever. And we're playing Sonic 3 music. <laughs> this is fitting, right? Um, well, maybe if I was playing Sandopolis. But uh, yeah. So I don't know. I'm still collecting these because there are only reward modes to be ha or there are no reward modes to be had, I should say. So basically all we need to do is fall off that table because they're all spinning. Who thought this was a good idea? Who, honestly, in their right mind? Well, no one who made this game could be in their right mind. I really hope that Gex 3 is as good as I remember it was because I played the demo a long time ago. And I remember that game was actually good, or something. So, we'll see, I guess. But, the demo of Gex 3 is, as I've said probably before and I, in the Gex 1 videos, the only reason I played the series at all! I'll be honest. Anyway, let's uh, make our way up here, because it's ob the correct path, or er, the obvious path is probably not the correct path because this is one of those mazy levels, so you gotta think outside the box. Do things that the game would not expect of you normally to do, because it is mean. And I hate these skull guys. So, uh, what can I talk to you guys about today? Well, um, I've been playing more Persona 3 FES, the answer, and I'm getting close to done with that game. I'm at... I've finished, uh, Kinda, if anyone knows what that means. If you don't, you should play Persona. Make sure to get Persona 3 FES. This is Angel Island, but not Angel Island? Hmm. It's weird. Okay. Well, I guess now we get to hear a remix of the song we just heard. You know, that might not still be loud enough. Let's turn up the volume a bit. There we go. If it's too loud because my headphones are not set to a good volume, I'll turn it down. Post-production, you know. But yeah, um, I've reached Kaina, and holy cow, this table is going crazy. Uh, what? Moving axes? What? Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Um, that was a bad idea. Oh, crap. Almost fell onto this red stuff on the floor. Whatever it is. So basically, you could take a totally different path than what I'm doing and probably still respan the level. Or I'm going the wrong way, and this level will take me forever and a day to do. I don't know. Whichever. This so far isn't... Whoa. I didn't expect that. But uh, this so far isn't too difficult, and we just opened that gate back there. So there are switches in here too, huh? Uh, somehow I'm not too surprised. Well, let's just go down here because I fell. Fall onto that thing randomly. And try not to do it again. Let's go back out here. Okay, well, now that guy's free, so let's kill him off. Yay. He's stuck on the rafters now. Um... Oh, I saw Transformers, Dark of the Moon. That movie was amazing. Ow. Easily my favorite Transformers movie. It just did so many things very well. Especially the action scene. I give it a 10 out of 10. And I rarely ever give movies 10s out of 10. I gave Green Lantern a 7 for crying out loud. I wasn't that impressed with it. It was, like, the thing with Green Lantern is that it's a good superhero flick. That's what it is. It knows what it is. That's, that's it. It's, it's a dude 
and at one point or three, he has to save his female interest partner person thing, and yeah, that's basically it. Balloon Park. Oh, this is the special level of Sonic and Knuckles, I believe, because they have different special stages. It's very weird. Uh, these tables are slowly rising. That's pretty amazing. I can't speed any of this up because it is just so randomly mapped. Something about this game, you know? Well, there are lots of things about this game I don't like about it, but uh, that's definitely one of them. And then there's stuff like this that's like totally freaking ridiculous. This is like shuffle time. Um, okay. For those who don't know what Shuffle Time is, I refer again to Persona 3. <laughs> um, okay, so, it's not too bad. Just gotta wait for certain ones to flip over. There, easy enough. Okay, cool. More axes, because I'm not tired of those yet. Okay, well, that wasn't too difficult to me. Perfectly honest, that was just annoying. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that. But it was, seriously, just annoying. And I didn't realize I've already gotten the first stage of it, but apparently I have, so there's that. Um, avoid the axes again. Try and jump on this when it's not tilting, which is nigh impossible, so you just kinda have to get lucky. Okay, um, oh, sticky wall. Yeah, I'm paying way more attention to the walls ever since that little, oh hey, you gotta climb this to reach the extra level thing. Yeah, that was, or bonus level, I should say. That was crap. Also, that seemed to be nothing but a bonus. There was nothing up here. Oh wait. Scratch that. I might need to jump on those. Because, yeah, see, I can't reach them from down here. This is hydrosity, but it sounds different. Did the Sonic 3 and Knuckles version of the game have different music for the stages in Sonic 3? Because I don't remember that. If that's so, that's really cool. But, oh, whoa! Hey, he actually tongued himself onto the thing on the center! Okay. See, when he does that thing to hang on to the ledge and stuff, its physics are very weird and, hey, Act 2 boss. Um, this would be the boss theme of... Uh, uh, just Sonic 3, I think, yeah. I'm playing both of the soundtracks, which might be a mistake, because I think they're both really different from each other. But, um, because I know Sonic and Knuckles has different stages, and I thought that, you know, we'd just hear all 16 of the stages, I believe there are all games. And, um, apparently... Sonic 3 and Knuckles has different versions of the music from each of the levels in the first Sonic 3, so I should have just played that up, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say here. This jump is very kind of annoying, unless I do it from the bottom. And we reach the end of the level. Hooray! Only 8 minutes. Not bad. Of course, I'm dreading the next level because A, there are two remotes I have to find, so we get to do that again. Hopefully there will be, like, an obvious what in the path somewhere, so I can just edit it to it, or whatever. But, um, we'll see what happens. Because this level is also known as Mazed and Confused, and that's really not filling me with a whole lot of confidence. But we'll see what happens. So here we go. Pass the TV forest, and cross the blue beams to the res tower. We'll try for the TV forest first. So, if I see a whole bunch of TVs in the shape of a forest, I know I'm going the right way. Slot machine? I don't remember any slot machines. Is this, like, something that wasn't the gumball machine? This might have original music to it. Well... Uh, do I show this? Okay, let's... Sh let's just play the music in the game for the first remote, and go with that. Okay. Uh, is anyone else tired of this already? Okay, um... Alright. 
first thing I notice is that I have no idea where to go. Except onto this... Uh, wait, this is those two enemies. Uh, I don't need to collect any reward remotes. The last time I fell into green stuff like that, I died. So, I'm going to not fall into that. Because it's apparently like a void. This stuff is like a brain, I guess. And, okay, we've got a bird's eye view going on here. This is... This is fantastic. I am looking forward to this. Also, shredders with fans. Always a good time. Okay, I gotta admit, those things are designed pretty cool. They're horrible, horrible obstacles, but they're designed really cool. Uh, what do I need to do? Just jump? Okay. Easy enough, I guess. I can't tell what power-ups are. Jump on this guy. There we go. Luckily, I found that out the last time I played that one res level, so did you help? Is this different music from that res level, or is this the same? I have no idea. Whoa! Almost ran straight into that. Wow, the controls in this game, they are so slippery and jerky. I am reminded of this. Uh, I suppose I'll take that. Um, is there like something across that? No, this is just a wall, and it goes... If I fall, it goes back to the first, um of those things, I think. And we're back to the beginning. We're back to the beginning of the level. Oh, God. Okay, let's go this way. I think this is a different path than the first one I took. Yeah, it is. Because, see, this is a climbing thing. And we never climbed on anything. And we are not going to fall off that. Thank you. Whoa! You almost got me game, but not quite. Not quite. Uh, you know, those just look like blue beams to me. But I have no idea. Because I have no idea what's going on! But, uh, yeah. So these things will always have fans that... These things will have fans that always try to blow you into them. And that's the way down there. Back to the... Or maybe it's across the pit, actually. Well, I should be able to jump this, so let's go this way. Um, okay, well, now we've got to pick up uranium. That's always a good time. Ow. Jump on the city its head. Okay, wait until it looks like I can't go down any further. Then jump on him! Okay, uh, do I need the healing? Yes, I do. Okay. I'd really rather not waste any healing I get here, because I have a feeling I'm going to need Whoa. as much of it as possible, if that was any indication. Oh! Uh, whoa, okay, the camera angle just changed to a back behind my back view again. Uh, these look like blue beams, if I ever saw them. So what do I gotta do? Jump, apparently. They're like conveyor belts that you have to jump on. This is amazing design right here. I, 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 I approve of this. And by approve, I mean screw this design. Okay, um, let's go back up. Let's go this way. And this way. And I'm going to die a horrible painful... Oh, darn it. Okay, I see what I need to do there. I just need to jump. It's pretty simple. Okay, go across this thing. Go across this thing. Remember to jump. Okay. Now watch it try and drop me into a bottomless pit. Yep, I saw that coming. You can't fool me, game. Spinning satellite. Always a good time. Uh, let's see, there are no breaks here. Um, more spinning satellites. And died, died. Well, that was the music. I hope you enjoyed it. Back to Sonic. Okay. I really love how I have to, like, start back from the very beginning whenever I die. That's pretty awesome. Don't you agree? Because if you don't, you really shouldn't be playing this. I don't suggest this game to anyone, by the way. Unless you want to torture yourself, then by all means, go ahead. But, um, I really would not suggest this. Hey, data select! This is the song that plays when you're trying to select a save game. Isn't that awesome? 
Um, I think I'll keep this, you know, preserved again because this is torturous. Um, I think we have to collect either cameras or AK-47s. I couldn't tell. Or that wouldn't be an AK-47. That would be the one with the round drum. Uh, it was used in World War II, I think, because it was in Call of Duty 3, I think. World War II guns, they're not something I know or claim to know. So, yeah, there's that. Um, just drop down here. Okay. Luckily, you can almost sort of maybe see across the pits that there is one. So, okay, this time we're going to jump across and move on to here. So what's over here? Uh, well, there's another one of these things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the same one. I somehow made it back. No, this is different because there are two fans now. Okay. Interesting. What an amazing gameplay concept. Instead of just one, you put two. So I have to go faster. Ooh, even three? Wow. Now you're challenging me. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, this is the TV forest I'm hoping. Is this thing gonna go down? Or what? what's the deal? Do I need to do something? Or do I just drop? Okay. I guess that works. Alright. TV Forest. Home of these jerks. Uh, I can't remember how to kill them. I think they just die after a while, so we'll just leave them be. Um... Okay. So, where do I go from here? I need to jump on this. Okay. Easy enough. We just need to do some platforming challenges! Isn't that awesome? Oh, some of you might be wondering why I haven't uploaded Ape Escape at all. Um, the backtracking thing is taking a lot more out of me than I thought it would, so... Uh, I'll upload it probably tomorrow, but today... Uh, well, I just kind of want to get this game out of the way, like, really badly, so... I should really stop trying to hit him while he's charging, because I can't. Um... Hey, Sandopolis. But this is the level that's originally in Sonic and Knuckles. So, why is its music changed? Huh. This is interesting. Okay, um... Oh, maybe they're all changed for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. How do you jump on this stupid thing? Wow, it cuts off really abruptly. Um, okay. Ooh, Marble Garden. I love Marble Garden. Marble Garden is a fun level. Unlike this. This is a horrible level. You know, all of the Sonic stages, like, seriously? I would play all of Sonic, all three of the games, and Knuckles, then play one of these levels. Any of them. Like, even the first one, for crying out loud. It's just, ugh. Okay, well, now that I got that out of the way. There! We passed the TV forest, and have claimed our prize. That's one. Now, I just have to remember how to get back to the uh, other area. So, um, I guess I'll just meet you guys back when I get past that first maze and get onto the thing, and the climbing pit thing, or, uh, I'll meet you guys back where I meet you guys back at. Uh, hopefully you can figure out the path through the maze, because I have no idea. Okay, meeting you guys back here at the blue gates of stupidity. Okay, let's see. Jump across this. Okay, you really gotta hit these things, like, straight on, or you will die. Kinda like that. Okay, I think I've got the path down, so I should probably show that. Also, this is Azure Lake. I still don't know where this is, even after all the time I've played Sonic 3. But maybe one day I'll LP it and figure it out. I don't know. Um, I don't know where this was. I think the end of the story. Like, the end of the game. Okay, so. It's pretty simple, actually. You just go up here... Wait for this thing, 
go past this, and voila, you're back on this thing. And then you just climb around it, get past the fans, we, okay. Wait for it, go past, jump off. No, to the right. Go down this ramp. Somehow make it across this without losing your fly, but fail. And then the camera will switch. Okay. And you're here. That's basically it. What's all the extra stuff? Don't know, don't care. Um, okay. I'm sure I went down the other path eventually, sometime. So I'm just going to ignore it. That could have been very bad. Okay. <laughs> JUMP! When I tell you to jump, man! Okay, it only takes about a minute to get past all that, I guess. Though I don't like how I keep respawning here. That's getting kind of annoying. Okay, so yeah, I'll meet you guys back at the blue beams again. Okay, we're back on the blue beams again. Let's try and not... Really? How... what? How did the heck did that happen? Uh, I could make a blooper reel out of this yet. But I wouldn't want to go back through all this footage. Okay, we're back up here again. Hopefully I won't fall off randomly like last time. Might help to center the camera a bit. How do you center this bloody camera? Okay, awesome. Alright. Frickin' camera, I will murder you in your sleep. Okay. Jump across this. Okay. Up onto the dish, wait for it to go all the way around, watch the camera make me sick. Oh my goodness! Okay, maybe it's not such a good idea to stand on the edge of that. Uh, you guys know the drill. Please jump on that. Okay. Okay, we're back up here. Let's go. <laughs> there. That's what I wanted to do the first time. I don't know why that was so difficult. Have I mentioned I hate spinning objects in this game? I really hate them. Okay, we're back over here. Hey, Sky Sanger. Okay, um... 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 Now! Okay, that seems to sort of work. I guess. Somehow. What? Are you kidding me? This is gonna be like Ratchet, but without actual, like, you know, just press right and jump. No, you actually have to somehow jump between them. Okay. Here we go! That was actually not as difficult as I was expecting. I thought it would make you jump between them like a billion times over. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Um... That was it for my final thing. I just had to break a whole bunch of bones. I can do that. I can do that very easily. Okay, just gotta get up this thing. And... And... Then I... Um... Oh, okay. I just have to break the teeth. It's not too bad. Sorry, but that had to take a quick pause break. Are the flames coming out of the teeth? That was weird. What? 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 I guess you just have to eat a hit there. I have no idea how to kill that thing, or avoid it, or whatever I was supposed to do. I have no idea. It was a giant freaking brain. But I beat it. I am done. I have finished the secret levels, finished the normal levels, I finished the hidden levels, everything is 100% complete. All I need to do now is kill Rez one more time. And then we will see the results of that next time on Let's Play Gex 2. Enter the Gecko, I think. Hold on, let me actually check.
So, next time, we will finally see the ending of this, and it better just end. Because if there's anything else after I kill him again, I will scream to the heavens. So, yeah, but like I said, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Gex 2 Into Gecko. Join me next time, for the last time. I don't even care if there's anything else after this. If, it, if there is, I say screw it. So, join me next time for the last time for Let's Play Gex 2 Into the Gecko. The end of Rez, or at least until the third game. But I don't see how they bring him back, so there's probably going to be a new villain. I hope so. I'm tired of Rez. I'll be honest. So, until then, later guys. Channel Z. I should pick out an epic soundtrack of some kind. Um, if anyone has ideas for an epic soundtrack from a video game I can use, let me know. No more anime soundtracks. They're apparently kind of, uh, what's the word? Taboo, I suppose. Well, maybe not the OSTs, but definitely no, like, openings or anything, because those are copyrighted. Hooray for copyright. Copyright is amazing, isn't it, guys? I should really just shut this off now.